Mariana, hey. lovely to meet you. So nice to meet you. Oh wow, I'm so happy to be here. So I'm Mariana, I'm a first generation Middle Eastern and I've always wanted to open a restaurant. I've always loved cooking. It comes from my family and the space that food took at home. So today I'm merging like my cultural background with my love for tacos with Jamaica. So I have a falafel taco. We make it from scratch here, and that's the plate of the day. But you're also trying other things as well. Mariana, what is this drink exactly? It tastes unbelievable. So it's tamarind with a bit of cane sugar and a bit of floral extract, it rose water. so beautiful. Yeah, the so I use, I use a lot of rose water here because that's my Middle Eastern background. I love rose water yeah. so much. So this is some hummus that you can nibble on. Purple sweet potato hummus, papadam, olive oil, kalamata olives, carrot tops. Mm. This is rose almond cornbread with sorrel, star anise chutney, and then a pumpkin split pea soup, but kind of like a more North African flavor profile on it. So we got the sweet potato hummus, papadoms. Yeah, some tasty hummus and this beautiful cornbread cooked in a banana leaf, which is really incredible. I love how she's using a banana leaf, not only for presentation, but to actually cook the cake in, or the cornbread in, and this sorrel chutney with the cornbread is gonna be incredible. Mmm, that is actually delicious. I need the recipe for this. <laughs> Mariana just said she made this pumpkin and split, split lentil. North African style soup. Not that I'm cold, but strange, strange, strange desire for warm soup right now since it's in front of me. It smells incredible. It's boiling outside, but I'm ready for this. Mm. You're so quiet. I've never heard you so quiet. <laughs> That's when the food is good. So this is jerk jackfruit with roasted onions. So where I'm from, we always used to serve roasted onions with like grilled meats. Yeah. I mean, this is not meat, but it's inspired yeah. from that. And um, some tomatillos that I found mm. for the first time ever. Wow. This is like a world premiere in Jamaica, <laughs> the tomatillos. And some sorrel chutney, so the sweetness with the spiciness. Yeah, sweet, tangy, spicy. And spicy. some papadums. I can, I can taste that before even eating it. It looks right. amazing. Well, go ahead. Thank you. Mm. Nice bit of heat there. Yeah. That's really good. Try that. This is our falafel taco, kalaloo falafel, ripe plantain, caramelized onion butter, cabbage for some crunch, and pickled sorrel. Look at these. It's like a taco, like a Middle Eastern taco with Jamaican produce. And a festive color. Yeah. Mmm. This dish probably sums you up really as a person with the, yeah, the mountain, all, the all the influences in this. All the yeah. Influences, yeah. I think if you're going to open a restaurant or if you get into food, you have to do what you know best. And this is what I know best. Do what comes from within and that's the most sincere way. That's beautiful. Yeah. Mariana's restaurant was simply mind-blowing and it had the most amazing magical energy inside it. Her food was the ultimate union of her heritage and Jamaica using the finest local produce. And if Jamaica couldn't get any better, if you eat plant-based like me, this beautiful island is a dream. All around you'll find what I think are sacred Rasta restaurants. Sacred because there's a mystical-like energy in the air that you feel as soon as you step inside. They're more than just a restaurant. They're community hubs where you find nourishment. We stopped off at legendary Shantyman on the outskirts of Kingston Town. His restaurant overlooking the city serves up fresh heartwarming meals in calabash bowls, all with a friendly welcome. This looks incredible, overlooking the most amazing view of Kingston. <laughs> that is it. Mm. Proper Ital cooking, so good. He also brews and serves homemade roots tonic, a concoction of magical Jamaican herbs for whole body healing. 
all the ingredients are natural yes. herbs. Mm. And then now uh, fermented. Wow. Pimento seed. Mmm. Chincha. Yeah. Alright. And molasses. Nice, yeah, yeah. Honey. Yeah. And brown sugar. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So it's um, gonna be fiery. Hot. Three months before wow. I serve yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's ready, man. Wow, okay. <laughs> Can Give I make me strong, energy, yeah? Man. Yes, man. <laughs> you want one? <laughs> Just two then, please. I'll take okay. three, I'll take three. All right. I'll take four. All right, we'll take five. <laughs> Thank you for the amazing food. Thank, Thank you for the too. We'll be back. Shanty man, best food in Kingston. <laughs> Thank you. Shanty man's restaurant is a must stop if you're in Kingston. Yes, sir. so right here we have original Ital stew, Rasta style, right by the river. All right, let's have a taste. What do you mean? Mm. Mm. 